Hi, my name is Jade Mitchell. I'm an assistant professor in biosystems and agricultural engineering at Michigan State University. The work that I do is really relevant to the way that people live their everyday lives. So um, I help establish water quality standards and food safety standard, um, as well as um, measuring risk to chemicals that people use um, and infectious diseases that are transported like through air or through touching surfaces. So um, I'm really excited about that because I think it uh, is a preventative way to help people, like as opposed to letting them get sick and then helping them from the clinical side. We usually buy our food at a grocery store, which seems like a really sterile environment, but the truth is that our food is, you know, grown outside and it's not a very sterile environment. Um, and the same thing is with our water. So um, the work that I do looks at what the risks are um, in terms of numbers of pathogens or um, different types of bacteria that we measure in food and water um, and how they may impact our health so that um, when people are trying to establish the quality of a food product or the safety of it, um, they have some guidelines for um, determining what that actually means. I mean, we live in a very dynamic ecosystem and there are many uh, bacteria and parasites and viruses that are around us all the time and it doesn't mean that um, there's yeah, a risk of harm. I have collaborators who are social scientists who um, measure behaviors and try to understand why people make decisions and then they help me translate my science into um, policies that people will actually adopt. Most of my work is computational, so I use lots of different computer programs and models. Um, some of them we write ourselves, uh, so coding is a big part of my job, um, but there are also some other tools like the Environmental Protection Agency has their own models for measuring um, how toxins and microbes are transported through the environment, so we also apply those. I look at trade-offs in risk in my work. So um, in terms of food security, um, one of the things I do is I look at trade-offs between availability and quantity, so quality and quantity, um, because we don't want to sacrifice nutrition um, in order to produce more quality. So I think that STEM disciplines allow you to help people and solve world problems. Um, in terms of developing technologies to deal with um, the grand challenges that we have, like water and food security, um, those require STEM disciplines. Well, I like that I get to work on anything that I think is important. Um, and, you know, luckily the things that I think of as important are really big problems that need to be solved. I don't really see them as depressing. I, I see them as opportunities and they actually stimulate me intellectually. So, um, yeah, I don't really see the problems in a so, bad way, I guess. <laughs> see them more as challenges, kind of. As you see them kind of as challenges? Yeah, yeah, I see them as challenges. Um, I know that we have skills and tools that we can apply to address them.